Hi, it's Andy again, and I'm here to explain the differences uh, between a relative layout and a linear layout. And I have a nice little example I'm going to show you. Um, basically, a linear layout is everything's going to be in a line. So all of its children in a linear layout have to, if there's more than one, be you have to determine in the linear layout whether you want that linear layout to be vertical or horizontally um, placed. Now, uh, however, you don't have to put the, the children uh, with an ID unless you're going to reference it into Java code. And a relative layout, if you're going to be referencing it to other items in that layout, you will need to have uh, an ID. So base, best practices, if you're going to use a, a linear, a relative layout, give everything an ID. Um, it makes it a little bit easier so you don't have to go back to what you're doing before and uh, all of a sudden give it an ID and then reference it later. So linear layouts are basically either going to be one on top of each other or next to each other. Now relative layouts you can you can just do one relative layout and uh, have each child inside of it you know, okay well you want one item to the left and then the next item, I want it next to that one, but also to the left, and I want it to match the same height as that one. You can still put paddings in place. It's it's actually really nice because it, the idea of a relative layout is that it scales nicely on any device. Um, so with this example, I'm just going to do uh, a relative layout for a list item. So let's say um, I want several different um, children items so like different views like text views uh, image views and stuff like that inside of a, a relative layout I'm gonna this is gonna be an example of how to do that so um, the first thing we're gonna have on here is an image uh, view we're gonna put this inside of a linear layout uh, with a mark we're gonna have it with uh, some padding all around is gonna be three in the de density independent pixels uh, we're going to wrap the content. That's another thing you, with, uh, with the relative layouts, you're going to be wrapping the content a lot more. Uh, and the reason for that is because if you have it as match, match parent, you can't have something next to it really. So if you wrap the content, you can still reference other items next to it. So just keep in mind you're going to be using wrap content a lot more often. <clears throat> so. We're, this one we're going to align the this image view to the left but with a, um, a padding of three three pixels next we're going to do a text view this one is going to be uh, next to that one so we've given this image view a name or sorry the linear layout that it's inside a name of thumbnail so this text view is going to be to the right of thumbnail and we're going to align the top of this text view with that uh, with that layout so this linear layout next we're going to let's say we want to put another text view underneath that one we're referencing it so that it's below this one and uh, to the right of the text view so uh, to the right of the image view now the next little bit we're going to put one on the other side of the of the layout. So this one this this is an example of let's say a music song title that was playing. Uh, you have like the image of the album art. Um, this would be like the song title or and then this or the song title this could be the artist album and then the duration left on the the song. So we're going to put this one, um, align this one to the right. We're going to put it at the top with some padding or with some, uh, sorry, uh, this is going to be the size of it. We're going to set this text and this one's going to be going to the right. So when it wraps the content, let's say the content was um, longer than these four digits it's going to go from the right to the left and expand to, to the left instead of going um, further to the right. And then when you have this little 
uh, layout with these three text views and an image view uh, in this relative layout where you're referencing well okay this one I want this one to be to the same starting point as this title text the, uh, but I want it to be all the way on the right on the opposite side I don't have to stick a blank linear layout in there it, it's it's nice because uh, like with a linear linear layout, you have to say, oh, oh, I'm going to align this one to the right, this layout to the right with all its children, and then this layout to the left with all its children. This is all just one layout uh, with one linear layout with an image view in the middle. But you could keep going on and on with more um, image views or text views or anything else in here. And... Uh, just tell them where to go. Let's say you want something in the center, you can put it in the center, slash to the right of something, or to the left of. Um, it's all relative, so the name is actually very, um, it, it, it's perfectly named for the layout. So what does this look like? Well, it looks like this. So we have this little text view up here that's aligned to the top of this title text. And it's also, this is aligned to this icon, so this image. So that's all on one solid plane. It doesn't matter what what uh, device you're using, that's all going to be aligned. Now, this, we have this aligned to the left, uh, or to the right of this, under this. And uh, that's all you really need to do with um, wrapping content and making it, you know, so that it's it moves from the left it's not centered it's not to the right this we're wrapping the content so that it only goes as far as the content goes so let's say this text was longer it'll come out here <coughs> and then you have this the, the title or the duration which we also give it some padding so we've justified this to the right um, and uh, so I hope this helps you with how to design a relative layout. If you need help with a linear layout, let me know, and I'll do a video on that. All right.